another truck arrives at this farm in the Kiev region of northern Ukraine. The rush is on to empty these silos of last year's harvest of maize to make space for approximately 35,000 tonnes of winter wheat. But much of this crop may go to waste because of what Ukraine and many countries it exports to say is a Russian sea blockade. At least 20 million tonnes of grain is already stuck in silos across the country, contributing to rising prices and what the UN says is a growing global food crisis. So this maize is being moved out of the silos in order to make space for the winter wheat harvest that is expected to start in about a month from now. A lot of this maize is being taken to silos elsewhere, but a lot of it will begin its journey to a port in Romania. A journey that can take up to three months and is very complicated indeed. One route takes the grain by train from Kiev into Moldova to avoid a coastal road that Ukraine says Russian forces have shelled. The train then drops back into the Odessa region of Ukraine before being unloaded at the Romanian border onto barges in Rene and Ismail. It then heads down the river Danube to the Romanian Black Sea port of Constanta. Analysts say shortages and long overland export routes have pushed the consumer price of grain up in recent months. Producers have been hit even harder. The cost of transport and logistics has increased 300% since before the war started. We are also looking at ways of getting the grain out via the Baltic Sea and through Hungary, but it can also take up to two months. Before the trucks take the maize away, samples are analysed at a quality control laboratory on the farm. The grains will be periodically inspected again in the coming weeks because much of it will have to be stored outside silos where rot could set in after only a month. Exporting by train from Ukraine is complicated because the rail track gauge is different in neighbouring Poland and Romania. Russian forces withdrew from this area a few weeks ago. This wheat was planted before the war started. Farmers work in the fields of maize and sunflowers despite the danger of mines and unexploded ordnance. It was very difficult because we were sowing during the invasion. Our domestic market is very small. We have to sell it abroad. Russia, which is also a major grain producer, says Western sanctions prevent it from exporting to global markets depriving it of billions of dollars of revenue and making the crisis even worse. Moscow says it is open to a potential Turkish and UN plan to allow safe passage for ships to transport grain from Ukrainian ports across the Black Sea and out to international markets via the Bosphorus. But Russia says Ukraine must demine the sea route first. Ukraine has so far refused, saying it won't leave Ukrainian ports like Odessa exposed to a potential Russian attack from the sea. No agreed solution means Ukraine could lose billions of dollars in revenue, and according to the UN, more countries across Africa and Asia already suffering food shortages could potentially suffer even more. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kiev.